Hey everybody, Teresa here of Luck and Design. Welcome back to my 2019 Project Life album. This is my layout in the travel series, in the mini summer travel series, um, about our travel to Gatlinburg. And there will also be an upcoming layout from our beach trip. And so today I'm sharing with you the final layout for our Gatlinburg trip. There are three layouts included in this series. And so I invite you to check out the links below so you can catch up on the other layouts. If you are interested in seeing that, I'd love to have you watch those. And if you have been following along with this mini series, thank you so much. It has been a absolute joy to share this trip with you and to encourage you to document your travels in your Project Life albums as well. And so I, just a quick note about the photos that I've included. Um, notice how in all three of these layouts, I haven't worried about whether they were chronological, whether they were at the, with the same event or whether they were um, necessarily connected. Uh, I've just chosen photos that I was inspired to use that are my favorites, and I didn't really worry about where they went in the layouts. I just put them in there where it felt like they fit, and that, that really is something that helps me to uncomplicate the process, is just to pick my favorites and just slide them in the pocket and not really stress or obsess over where they go, whether they fit in with a specific event or whether they're chronological or not. Just put them in there where you like them. Um, so I'm working with the Allie Edwards Travel Kit again today. And you'll also see a little bit of the Pink Fresh Out and About collection pop in here. I also have the Allie Edwards Drive Story Kit. It's from a couple of years ago. Um, but I thought that there might be a couple of sentiments in that stamp set that would fit in. I did not really use a lot of stamping on this layout. And again, that's just to help me keep it uncomplicated and just not really stress about it. So I used one of the 4x6 journal cards in the top left-hand pocket here. And then you'll see here, this is a photo of the escape room that we did. Okay, and I'm just going to say we loved doing that. Um, that was a really awesome uh, experience for our family. And I used one of the two by three journal cards to journal on that photo. And then you'll see here, I'm layering this four by four photo. It's actually more like three and a half by three and a half. And I'm layering it on top of one of the map cards from the travel kit and then I stapled one of the transparent C's onto the card as well and I'm journaling on top of that with a sharpie a sharpie pen and so far that I left it to dry and so far it has worked out wonderfully to sharpie on that or to journal on that um, transparency so I really liked how that turned out and using that as a little journal spot. On that pocket, I had the back of a sort of opaque pocket to work with. That is the um, shopping bag from Dollywood. And I just folded it up and slid it in the pocket. And I'm gonna let that show through. And I just adhered one of the chipboard stickers on top of the pocket. If you wanted to, of course, you could put your chipboard inside the pocket. I like to have things on top of the pocket sometimes, and I haven't really had any problems with it over the years. If you were concerned, you could use red line tape. That's usually a good, uh, a good option for really strong adhesive if you were concerned about it getting lost. Um, this photo here is one of my favorites, the, the um, onloading and offloading spot at Anakista has a really dramatic roof 
to it. And so I've cropped the photo just so that you could see the sign and then use the rest of the space for journaling. I also stamped the word go and added the metal geotag to that photo. And so just a side note, those little metal embellishments are must-haves. They are so cute. I really love them. There was a travel log included in this kit. And um, this reminds me of the December daily logs that have been available in previous years from Ali Edwards. And I just used the top portion of it and layered it over the stripe card. And I, I didn't really obsess or stress over what to do with the log. I just added a few sentences for journaling and made that a really fun journaling card. So there was also this little map three by four card and I've used those map cards in a couple of places. Uh, it's also on the other side of this layout, obviously. And so I layered one of the chipboard circles over top of a uh, cardstock sticker from Pink Fresh in the mint color. And of course, notice how the mint color and pink both appear uh, several places in this layout as well as sort of a unifying element. I really liked how the colors in these layouts are more subtle, they're more gentle, they're softer, and they don't compete with the photos. And obviously these are very photo heavy layouts, which is intentional. I absolutely wanted to include a lot of photos from this trip. <clears throat> and so I love having embellishments and journal cards that don't feel like they compete. And I think that is about all for this process video. Thank you so much for joining me and for following along with this series. Again, I hope that you will check out my blog where you'll be able to see the other videos and the other blog posts in this series. And there will be just two more videos in the series coming up. So I hope that you will stay tuned for those. Be sure to like this video and comment below. Let me know where you're traveling to this summer and if you've been able to document those travels so far. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.